Welcome everyone, thank you for joining me here today. Today we're here to talk about NX for Enterprise. Now a quick backstory about NX. Prior to raising our round of funding, our business model was actually based on enterprise consulting. As engineers, we'd be brought on to tackle some of the harder problems our clients faced in terms of setting up their mono repo or setting up their CI pipelines. And that time working with enterprise clients has been invaluable to us in terms of solving their problems and figuring out the tool that NX needs to be to best suit the enterprise use case. And from that work, we've been able to develop what I think is a killer product that passively increases developer productivity while simultaneously simultaneously reducing your compute costs from your CI processes. Let's take a look at the stack so we can see just how NX is able to do this. Here we can see the graph of an example repository. Part of NX's job is actually to segment out your repository into discrete projects, and then to determine a dependency graph based off your actual source code so that NX is aware of what projects depend on what. And if you're wondering what technologies NX supports, via our plugin system, we're able to support most of the existing front-end frameworks, as well as most of the common tools you'd expect to find on the front end. And there are existing NX plugins for most of the common backend languages and frameworks. An NX dependency graph system is pluggable, which means that any language can be supported as long as a parser is provided. And here's where things start getting interesting. At the core of NX is a task runner, and part of configuring each one of these projects is specifying for each one of them a specific set of tasks associated with them. Now this task could be something like building an artifact, or it could be some form of validation like unit tests, type checking, end-to-end -end tests, or linting. Now when you're configuring NX, you're not only telling NX what it should do in order to run each task, you're also telling NX how these tasks depend on each other. For example, we can tell NX that any build depends on the build of all dependent projects. This way, if we ever told NX to run a build on our dashboard, NX would make sure that the style system is built first before then running a build on our dashboard. Now, because NX's dependency graph is created by analyzing the source code, as your repository continues to grow and change, and some of the connections inside of your graph change, NX will passively keep your pipelines up to date. For example, now if we were to run our dashboard after this change, NX is going to first build the style system, then build our user profile, and then build the dashboard. And since NX is analyzing the source code of your projects as well as the source code of its dependencies, we're actually able to tell if you've run a task like a test or a build on the same exact code before. We can mark one of these tasks as cacheable, which informs NX that if we've performed that same task on the exact same code, then we should just remember the last time we ran that task, which essentially makes running that task instant. And when we introduce our NX Cloud product to the system, this enables that cache to be shared among all the developers in your organization, as well as with your CI pipelines. This means your CI pipelines will be able to benefit from your developers running these tasks locally, which has the potential to significantly reduce the money that you're paying for computation on your CI pipelines right now. Speaking of CI pipelines, because part of NX is defining all of our tasks and how these tasks depend on each other, it's very easy to configure your CI pipelines by simply telling NX which tasks to run. With NX's built-in tools, like being able to determine affected projects via Git history, and the NX cache, we're actually able to create a state-of-the-art pipeline system that's going to scale dynamically as your repository grows. And this alone, we've seen cut CI pipeline bills enough for NX Cloud to pay for itself. And other features like NX Cloud's distributed task execution is going to allow you to parallelize those tasks as optimally as possible. There's still the same amount of compute going on, so this won't save on your compute bill, but it will allow you to significantly cut down on the time it takes between your engineer submitting a PR and the engineer being informed as to whether their PR passed the validation tests. And if your average CI time ever starts becoming unmanageable, you can easily scale horizontally by adding more machines to your CI pipeline via the simple configuration we see on screen here. At the end of the day, NX's job is to take everything that your engineers are doing that isn't shipping an awesome product to your users and get that off of their plates and onto NX's. Let us worry about your dependency graph and how tasks depend on each other and how to optimize your CI pipelines. Cause I promise you, your developers would prefer not to mess with that. And you'll be able to enjoy your optimized compute costs that's going to continue to passively scale as your project grows. Thank you all very much for your time. Keep working hard and we'll see you next time.